Hey there folks, Pliskin by 51 millimeter, and today I'm doing a video on my new cheek pad stock riser, cheek riser, back here on the back of the M14, M1A loaded. <coughs> I'm kind of running sick, my voice is horsey, so forgive me on that, but this is the new cheek riser I got uh, from Amazon. As you can see, it appears to be in very good uh, quality, very good quality. I mean, it's uh, got a foam padding back here underneath um, the riser itself. And it seems to be made of some very durable material. Uh, but I have found one problem with it so far is that these straps here, as you can see, are just way too long and they come around too far to be uh, very effective so I mean I got it on there but I'm gonna have to do some playing with it to uh, get it where it's on there tight and these aren't so uh, obstructive it also comes with on this um, cheek rest a pouch here this has a velcro cover on it velcro <clears throat> pouch inside imagine what this is for is you can put the bullet holder inside that and keep your bullets covered up if need be and then of course it comes with the bullet holder itself the velcro backing also has velcro on both sides as you can see for uh, both of these items also come in handy for uh, patches too if you want to put some patches on there. So yeah, it looks it, it's a lot nicer than the other one. Uh, it secures a lot better, but I need to uh, play around with the straps because that one there is really long, and then that one right there is really long. So I might have to cut them down, and then I might have to play with the foam in this because it sits okay but to me it sits a little high to where uh, your face is sitting higher than the scope so I may play with that and get it lower but so far uh, it seems to be a very good good cheek pad cheek riser I will put a uh, picture of what it looks like on Amazon in the, the in, at the end of the video uh, so yeah, I figured I'd just give you all a preview of this to let you all know that I do in fact have a new cheek riser uh, for the M1A M14. Also, real quick, I have sitting here a book called The M14 Battle Rifle by Leroy Thompson. I also got this off of Amazon. And I've been reading through it so... Uh, here recently um, I've made it to like page 30 so I will do a review of this book or a recommendation I should say of this book here when I finally get through all of it as you can see I'm right there where the page is creased so I don't have much more to go and I will do a uh, recommendation for this book so far it's been really good but I'll <coughs> <coughs> I will finish reading it before I give a uh, full recommendation of it um, and so far that is all I've got for right now um, the weather outside is certainly frightful and none of it is delightful to say the least it is the snow and ice just keeps piling on. It, the, there doesn't seem to be an end in sight, at least for the rest of this week. It looks like we'll be indoors. So I will not have the chance to get out and try out my new cheek pad for a while. Which is where that book comes in handy, because I'm going to be doing a lot of reading, it seems. <clears throat> so, I will get out and shoot when I get out and shoot. In the meantime, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload some old shooting videos 
that uh, I just simply did not have time to upload when I filmed them or I forgot about them. I'll just I'll go back and look and see how many old shooting videos I have and then I'll just put them all in a big old uh, compilation of shooting videos for you all to watch in this downtime. Well, anyway, this has been Pluskin by 51mm. I'll see you all in the next video.